welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to be making a fox mask slash helmet, a fox helmet mask. So first I sketched out my idea. If you wanna make a mask, just sketch out what kind of mask you wanna make and then figure out like what parts you're gonna need for it. So I'm gonna use the balloon for the round part of the head. I'm gonna roll up some paper for the nose and then I'm gonna attach some pieces of paper for the ears. And I'm actually gonna attach them in this first step. So here is my balloon. I'm using a bigger balloon. I want it to be able to fit over someone's head. So this is gonna be the top and this is gonna be the bottom, so this would be where the neck is. Okay, so you should already have your paper mache paste made. If you don't know how to make it, click on this video and it will take you to a link that'll show you how to do it. You should already have your newspaper ripped up and ready to go at this point. So I'm gonna use some newspaper and I'm gonna try to make it into the cone shape of my fox's nose. I'm just gonna fold my newspaper in half and then try to make a funnel shape. Crease it, fold this side in, cover this side, and then you have your nice funnel. Then just take some masking tape. If you want a longer nose, just make a longer shape right here. If you want a rounder nose, make a round shape. Okay, I'm just gonna see if that's long enough on the side of this. Eh, it's okay. So then I'm just gonna take my masking tape and I'm gonna tape it on to my balloon. This is great for making um, Halloween costumes. Now I'm gonna put some ears on this at this stage. And for the ears, I want them to be a little bit thicker, so I'm just gonna use some cardboard. So I'm just gonna pinch my cardboard because I want my ears to kind of bend in in the center. I'm no expert on fox anatomy, but most ears curve in like this so that you can hear. Okay, and then I'm just gonna tape these on with masking tape. I have one ear taped on. I'm gonna add another piece of tape up here. <laughs> it keeps tipping over. Hold still, Fox. Then I'm gonna tape my other ear on this side. So after I get all these pieces taped on, I'm going to add two to three layers of paper mache. Okay, so here is the profile of my fox head. Okay, now I'm gonna start covering this with paper mache. Try not to pop your balloon at this point or you have to start all over again. I would always start with your um, area covered in newspaper, maybe even the floor depending on how messy you get. This is how I like to lay out my area. I have my paper mache strips over here. I have my paper mache paste ready to go and my project and newspaper underneath everything. You can wear gloves if the texture of this really bothers you. Also, be careful because this tends to fling everywhere. So you're gonna cover this with two to three layers of your paper mache strips. You can cover the bottom. You don't, you're gonna eventually create a hole and a slit here so that you can put your head inside of this, but you can cut it out if you get newspaper down here. So don't worry about getting newspaper down at the bottom. So I'll show you the technique that I use to cover these in the paper mache paste that seems to work pretty well. Your strip should be two to three inches wide. So what I do is I dip it in and I hold it down with one of my fingers and then I get the excess off by pinch, just sliding it between my two fingers. So you wanna cover this with one to two layers. So first I'm gonna cover the balloon and then I'm gonna cover the ears and the nose. So I'm probably gonna be painting this, so I want it to be a little bit smoother than my other ones. So I'm trying to just make sure I don't have like some huge pieces poking up. So I'm going around as I'm making this and trying to smooth them out. I've learned that the best way to learn a new medium is to make something out of it. You know, try it like, try to make something using it. Here is the fox face mask. And hopefully now I won't hit into the camera as much because it's above me. As you get to the last of your paper mache paste, it starts to get kind of thick and you can thin it back out with some water. Okay, so I kind of have, I have the face covered pretty well. And again, you can take more strips and cover it if, if yours is all gunky like this. 
the thicker this is too, the longer this is going to take to dry. This is about one to two layers. I might smooth things down a little bit. Now I've got to work on the back of the head. So I'm basically going to add two more layers here and then I'm going to set it somewhere to dry. You have to be kind of careful at this point because I could bend that nose because it's a little bit wet. Okay, so once you get it to this point, check it, just do a double check. I'm kind of just smoothing some things down. Once you get it covered in paper mache, I just sat mine in a bowl and tried to balance it and I'm gonna get a clean sheet of newspaper under it and let it dry. After you have let your fox head dry overnight or for a few days, first thing that I want to do is pop this balloon. I hate popping balloons. Listen to it. Ah, get your hand in that fox's head. You have to be careful so you don't want to um, tear. Do a little surgery. Carefully tear your balloon out of there. Once you pop the balloon that's inside of the mask or head that you're making, we need to figure out where to make the eyes. And in order to do that, we need to figure out where our eyes are when we put it on. We're going to make a cut of the back of the head. I'm holding it upside down. I'm going to make a cut down the middle of the back of it so I can open it and put my head inside. And this will actually be good for putting it on and off later. So I cut down the back of the head and then I'm going to just make a short incision across the back like that. So I've got to open it enough to fit my head inside of it. Before you put it on to figure out where to put your eyes, you need to cut the neck so that it is big enough to fit your neck. So cut. Before you put it on your head, get your pencil or something to draw with that. And you're just going to open it up and squeeze it on your head. Once you get it on, you want to figure out where the nose is and put it right in front of your face. So after you stick it on, you want to draw. Just try to figure out about where your eyes are. And then you're going to draw some circles. So there's one of my scribbled circles. There is my other scribbled circle. So once you put it on and you figure out about where the eyes need to be, I get a marker and I'm going to draw a circle where I want these eyes. So those are going to be the middle of the eyes that I'm going to cut out. To cut it out, I would use an X-Acto knife. So if you aren't comfortable using these, maybe ask somebody to help you. And you don't want to put your hand inside and hold it while you're cutting with this. So you're going to cut your hand. I've learned from sad experience, you just need to be careful. I'm just going to cut out my first eye. If your paper mache is thicker, it's a little bit harder to cut through. So I've cut out the two eyes. Now I'm going to try it on to make sure I can see through those eyes. If it's Sliding your eyes down too far on your nose, just cut the back up a little bit more. So you're just going to open up the back carefully. You don't want to just like break your whole thing. Put it on. So, so now I can see out of the eye holes. And now I'm ready to start drawing my designs on some paint. And remember, cut these things out in the back. It's going to make it a lot easier for you to get this on and off. After you cut the eye holes out and try it on, make sure it works. Then you're going to take a marker or a pencil and you want to draw on. First I'm going to draw where I want the nose and then I, I want to draw it before I paint it. I want the nose. So I'm just going to draw his eyes on. Just putting some circles around the holes that I cut out and then I'm going to paint those maybe green. Put some eyelids on there. some eyebrows. I want to show where I want it to be orange and where I want it to be white. So I want the nose to be half orange and half white and I want that to just continue all of the way around the head. I'm just drawing a line on the edge of his nose and kind of around to the back. The inside of the ears I kind of want to be pink and I'm going to put some little fur lines on there. Here's my other ear. Fur lines. So there we have the main drawings for the fox and now I'm going to go ahead and paint it in. I'm just using acrylic paint that I got at the grocery store. So I have his two eyes here. I'm going to paint this inside part green. And then I'm going to paint these two parts white. Now I'm going to take my white and I'm going to paint inside my ears. 
Okay, so I have the two ears painted white and now I want to paint under this under part white. I'm actually going to get a bigger brush to do that. So like you see how you can see my pen underneath there? I might just wait and paint it one more time after this dries. Okay, so now I'm ready to paint my orange. Okay, so I'm gonna put this bottle underneath so that it will hold it up a little bit higher for me. Now get your orange and you're gonna paint the rest of your fox in with your orange. If you don't want it as bright, you can make it a little bit browner by adding a little bit of blue to it. So get your orange and we're gonna start painting the face in. Quick thing I want to point out, I didn't have very many layers of paper mache right here and after I painted it, it just made it kind of wet and so it kind of crinkled it a little bit. So if your paper mache starts getting wet, just take a break. You don't want it to um, ruin the shape. So grab your black and we're going to paint his nose black and then I'm going to paint his eyebrows and I'm going to just re-outline his eyes. And then I'm also going to put some black um, inside the ears. And then figure out what you want to do with the mouth. In the end, I decided not to cut out a mouth or draw it on. I just kind of liked it being anonymous, but you could cut out a hole for the mouth. 